Okay, guys. Um, we have a different uh, uh, networking model, sir. There means to communicate in the network. Okay, to connect and communicate in the network, we have a different networking model, sir. There. Okay, like a TCP/IP, Apple Talk, IPX, SPX, OSA model, sir. There. These models, which we are uh, came earlier than OSA model, earlier than OSA model. Okay. Okay. So this is a TCP/IP model, which is also called as DoD model, which we are using in our network communication. Okay, to communicate networking model is we are using TCP IP protocol suit. And what is this OSA model? OSA models are reference models which we don't use in our regular network communication, not only any specific network communication. So OSA models are useful for understanding of network model, troubleshooting network models. Okay, so these model is standardized by ISO International Organization for Standardization. And whenever you come to OSA model, there is some words will come, right? Like a certain ISO, IEEE, IETF, IANA, ICANN. These are all control of our entire internet and IP addresses, domain names, URLs like google.com, facebook.com, youtube.com. So these are entirely controlled by these organizations. Okay. IANA, I can mainly IP addresses and domain name registration. Internet is controlled by IETF. Okay. This is a organization means it's a kind of institute, Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineering. Okay. So it is research uh, purpose. Okay. So they give some request for comment kind of stuff how this model should be there um, and what are the next level we have to develop. We, they follow the these suggestions. Coming to this OSA model guys. It is a open system interconnect. Okay, open system interconnect. OSA means open system interconnect. It is a networking model. It is a reference Hello. model. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yeah, uh, what about TCP IP, sir? Uh, TCP IP we are using. The, generally, we are communicating through TCP IP only. So okay. What is the DOD, DOD in the bracket? Uh, DOD. Um, it's a TCP IP model before it is a defense model it is. Okay. So abbreviation is a, a department of defense. Okay. Depend on defense earlier. Uh, so actually all these computers, network, everything developed for a defense purpose later it is become neutralized and uh, um, regularized for a regular public uses purpose okay okay so thank you good so why we should learn osa model why not a directly tcp ip model okay so some people think from OSA model, TCP model is came. No guys, TCP model, Apple Talk, IPS, SPX, these are all different model, network models are used before OSA model came. Okay. And this TCP IP model still we are using. OSA model is only reference model. We don't use any place this OSA model. Only to OSA model useful for understand the network. To create a new network or to maintain the network or to troubleshoot the network this OSA model is useful okay OSA model for understanding the network troubleshoot the network OSA model is useful it contains seven layers 
it contains seven layers standardized by iso iso is an organization gives the standards to different organizations different type of models protocols kind of stuff it is standardized by iso international organization for standardization so iso is an organization iso certified uh, you know when you go to any shop or a business kind of stuff they shows iso standardized means iso recognize this there are following standards okay as per their standards okay so osa model so open system interconnect what is meant by open system interconnect so whatever the model of network is there whether it is tcp ip or it can be apple talk or it can be there so we can understand with the osa model okay we can troubleshoot with the osa model any irrespective of operating system irrespective of what kind of network model what kind of um, topologies what they use so we can use this osa model to understand the network you have a seven layers are there yeah tell me tell me you have a seven layers application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer okay so i said numbers are reverse order why because of the first layer is physical layer second layer is data link layer third layer is network layer fourth layer is transport layer fifth layer is session layer sixth layer is presentation layer seventh one is application layer okay some people study from their certain test books or from some college kind of stuff they may written like this first one is physical layer and next data link layer next network layer like that it will go in sub 10 test books it will shows like a first one is application presentation session layer numbers are correct layers are so correct order may changes some people study physical layer first some people study application layer first okay but which order is correct physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer application layer or application layer presentation layer session layer transport network data link and physical layer which la which order is correct both are correct guys both are correct no difference in it okay only thing is do not interchange the layers do not interchange the layers application layer so for example i said in an interview or maybe i went to somewhere and I, or maybe i have been teaching so i said application layer session layer transport layer the, um, uh, 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 presentation layer and uh, physical layer session layer like this if i interchange the layers that is a uh, order is missing then it is not correct either you follow 7 to 1 or 1 to 7 no problem in it but there is a uh, one point why we should follow the application layer to physical layer application layer presentation layer session layer transport network data link layer and physical layer as when you sending means source to destination okay source to destination you are sending it will go from application presentation session transport network data link and physical layer and physical connectivity means physical to physical connection is there data link layer network layer transport layer session layer physical layer applications okay so it will go from down to top top to bottom bottom to top means when you are sending application to physical when you are receiving physical to application layer so that's why both order correct but when you are sending so this order when you are receiving reverse order is there okay guys before i start explaining one by one layer i want to explain about a protocols because 
application layer and transport layer both are important with these protocols protocols with their port numbers always in importance what is these protocols what is these protocols protocols are set of rules right but what is the set of rules what is meant by this set of rules while you are communicating from one device to another device what is meant by communicating either you have to send a mail or you have to send a message you are sharing resources all right you are accessing some information from a, a device it can be a database or it can be a web pages it can be your uh, uploading downloading files okay or you are as, um, remote accessing okay these are all communication only but how these devices understand what is your communication right i am a server you are sending a request for example you ask me a doubt about a communication related right uh, some um, email related uh, how to write a email <laughs> or maybe about a past tense or future tense or maybe uh, writing a english exam right okay so i don't know right if you ask me a technical question maybe i will try to give an answer but uh, if you ask me a question that is a communication question okay so then i should down so that is a point right so we should follow things uh, not a good example okay so it's a difference is there no so like uh, to whom you are asking what you are asking to whom you are asking what you are asking that is a uh, two words for example we are all know how to write a leave letter okay so in school days we learn lot of letter writing but mostly we follow the leave letters only okay so to whom you write a leave letter to the principal or a class teacher i required a leave for these days you, in the subject you said it is a leave letter maybe you want some study certificate and you have to write a letter how to write i want a study certificate letter for a study certificate to whom you will send to the class teacher or principal you have to give it to your administrative office to the principal address not class teacher right so to you are uh, for father you want to ask him money for a tour and you to to whom you are ask you are, i want i require some money to father but you don't send it to principal right so like that to whom you are asking and what you are asking who is the person who is the what is the device will fulfill your request so i have a mail server from mail server i will send a mail and receive a mail okay what is the mail server i will send a mail receive a mail so then to, with the mail server kind of stuff. then mail server service related protocols i have to use it okay i have a remote machine i have to access from my laptop remote machine i have to access the remote server so then it is ssh protocol or telnet protocol okay i have want to access a website that is a http protocol https protocol i have to upload or download a files then ftp protocol then what is this request from the client and what is this response from the server is understandable so client send a request to the server server understand what is the client request by the protocol only server given a response to the client the client understand what is the response by the protocol only so simply say protocols are defined what type of communication is a mail related communication 
web pages related communication or maybe it is authentication related communication or maybe it is a remote access related communication okay so what type of communication it is here it is i put as some protocols with their port number guys there is a lot of port numbers are there and lot of protocols are there i given some regularly used protocols their dedicated port numbers sometimes port numbers are not dedicated to a particular service port numbers are represents the protocol or a service okay so here i given an example pca sending http request to the web server web server understand and give a http response means give the page again pca send smtp request means mail related communication this is a web server not mail server right it drop the packet to understand pca is requesting mail request so it's not a mail server it drop the packet okay so that's why i am saying to whom you are asking and what you are asking okay you ask a web server for web pages mail server for mail communication okay http https hypertext transmission protocol hypertext transmission protocol or ssl are secure protocol what is the difference between http and https guys http protocol use use it to access web pages you send a request means you send request or a data to the web server using http protocol means your data is not encrypted so it is exposed to everyone means someone is trying to capture your data so they can get what you are sending and what you are receiving what are you sending what are you receiving from server to client client to server what are the http data is there people can easily capture that data okay because it is data is not encrypted in case i use https in case i use https so our ssl it is doing means it is encrypt the data it encrypt the data data which is look in different form so data is look in a different form so we if someone is trying to capture your data they don't understand what is the data it is okay you can also see in your whatsapp end to end encryption means data is here as a normal data wise data is here as a normal data wise but while it is transmitting from client to server and server to client data is encrypted so then no other person can able to capture your data if even they capture they don't understand what is the data it is that is the difference between http and https so https encrypted of course on encryption guys our ssl the port number changes from 80 to 443 guys understand difference between http https yes sir because it is also one important question difference between http and https please okay. explain sir twice because my network connection is okay see here it is my web server web server contains a web pages so i open a web page for example uh, w3schools.com okay it contains some information so i want to access this particular page so i am can able to get it this data is in the web server only when i want to access i open a web browser and put a url and send a request request go to web server web server verifies what is your request and what type of request it is what is your request what page you want it 
so it will deliver to you this is how web server and client works okay we use a protocol called http generally for web communication http whatever the data i am sending and receiving it is in the normal format only okay whatever the format of uh, data is same data so not encrypted not encrypted format so if tr someone is trying to capture your data if uh, someone is trying to capture your data so they know what are you are seeing same data it can able to see in from there what is uh, your your you are sending a data or maybe you are receiving a data okay if anybody capture the uh, data so they can get full data okay so what is use of https it is secure https secure our ssl or tls data is secure means whatever the data you are sending and receiving this data is this data is encrypted the encrypted data if someone is trying to capture your data they cannot understand what is the data you are sending and receiving client to server server to client whatever the data is transmitting even if anybody capture the data they cannot able to understand means your data is secure okay for example you are using banking website i open icicbank.com http type so what happen i put user name password and i will click okay then log into uh, icicbank bank and i got to check my account and transfer some money okay so this if anybody is here they will capture your data they will this guy will capture enter your user name passwords okay what are the data you are transmitting and receiving he will capture you may he may misuse that one https what are your data is transmitting and receiving that is entirely encrypted even he is trying to uh, capture your data but he cannot understand what is this inside so like a banking website social media websites email communications we should use compulsory http yes okay that's the difference port number is http 80 https is 443 got it guys yes sir very good ftp ftp is a protocol for uploading and downloading your files so to the ftp remote ftp server i want to upload certain files or i want to download a certain files i can use ftp 2021 is a port number okay some protocols having a two two port number some protocols having single port numbers guys next one is ssh protocol telnet protocol rdp protocol these three protocols for remote access protocol remote access protocol i have a remote server for example i have a remote machine or remote server is there i want to connect and configure i want to manage this one from here so i can use ssh or i can use telnet these are a command line based access these are all command line based access ssh or a telnet protocols are a command line based access means so how we are uh, working with the command line like this with commands So, right so that way of access it is you can use ssh or a telnet protocol telnet no encryption so your connection is telnet type of connection <coughs> no encryption by default no encryption by default ssh secure socket secure shell it is secure shell ssh secure shell port number is 22 and uh, telnet is 23 port number this is not encrypted and this is encrypted so 
for accessing remote machines or a remote uh, server, a remote Linux server, a remote Unix server, SSH is a best protocol because it is encrypted. What are your data you're sending and receiving? The data is encrypted format, so no other can able to know what is the, your data by default. By default in a telnet, it is not encrypted data, so it is normal data. It is very easy to capture. What is this RDP? What is meant by? Yeah, remote access means I have a remote server. Okay. So for example, I have to open some server. I take time, so that's why. Actually, we have a server earlier, uh, my server only. Let it start, it will take time anyway. I will show you that uh, SSH protocol, okay? Because that is also one small important to understand. Remote access means remote machine is there. It can be a server or a desktop or it can be a router or a switch to connect the server. Like I want to manage this machine. So I have a direct access, right? Physically, I'm able to access directly. But uh, my server is in different room or maybe different physical location. But network is there. Through the network, I can able to access it. I can configure it. I can manage it. I can do all the settings kind of stuff. So that is called a remote access. Okay. okay. Remote desktop. A remote desktop is also remote access only. But SSH and Telnet are command line based remote access. But a remote desktop is a uh, entire desktop we can able to capture. We can using this remote desktop connection. I have a remote uh, Windows server is there. I, I have a remote uh, Linux server is there. So what I will do, I want to access that entire desktop environment from my PC. Okay, using this remote desktop connection application. So I have to give that remote machine name or IP address, username and password. So get connected, give the password and then get connected. By default, remote desktop connection is encrypted format only. Okay. So these three protocols for remote access and RDP is mainly remote desktop protocol. SSH is by default secure, secure socket kind of stuff. Not open cycle system. So guys, that is my Linux VC, which is installed in my virtual machine, as a virtual machine. We both are located in same place only, okay? Think like this, this machine is somewhere located in my network. Uh, that original machine is disconnected. Uh, we have this machine now. It will open, so don't worry. Okay, so leave like that. So once, if it is up possible, I will show you. Next is SMTP, POP3, IMAP. These three protocols used for mail communication. SMTP, POP3, IMAP version 4. These three protocols used for a mail communication. SMTP port number is 25, POP3 is 110, IMAP version 4 is 143. Okay. SMTP, POP3 and IMAP version 4. 
SMTP for sending a mails. For example, this is my mail server and this is my client. These three protocols also important guys. Listen carefully. Client want to send a mail to someone like you send a mail to someone, right? So when you want to send a mail, the request go to mail server. First request go to mail server. You want to send a mail. So your request is SMTP request. SMTP request. You want to send a mail. So mail go to the mail server. Mail server will forward the mail to the concerning destination. Okay. Concerning destination. So server understand your request from server will understand what is your request by your protocol or to send a mail okay so you open a mail for example you open a gmail.com you open a gmail right so automatical request go to this gmail server request go to this mail server and pull that all the mails and display on your screen mail server contains your mails and you want to check what are the mails you got it okay so you want to retrieve your mails you have to send a request either pop3 request or a imap version 4 imap version 4 so either pop3 protocol or a mep protocol you send a request to the mail server to retrieve your mails. So mail server will give you what are the mails in your mailbox. Okay, guys, SMTP protocol. Okay, simple mail transmission protocol it is for sending a mails by default port number is 25. POP3 is 110 and IMAP version 4 is 143. POP3 and IMAP version 4 are used for to retrieve a mail, to pull the mail from the mail server. Okay. SMTP for sending a mail. TFTP, Trivial File Transfer Protocol. Trivial File Transfer Protocol. So that is used for a remote configurations upload download configuration files purpose okay to uh, upload a configuration file or to download a configuration file to uh, back up the configuration files we use tftp yeah tell me tell me uh, sir why we need a different protocol for the mail different protocols for mail like specifically for the mails yeah, specifically for mail communication, right? In a HTTP, for web communication, we use one protocol only, SSH, Telnet, one, one protocol, son. Very good. But we are using mainly two or three protocols. Uh, means this is our protocol. Means either you can use POP3 or IMAP. There is a difference. But we are using at least two protocols for sending and receiving. Okay? That is a actually good question it is. Simple guys, it is what both are request, both are request from the client only. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, both are request from client only. You're requesting, you do two things in mail communication one is you send a mail, another one is you'll get a mail, means you have to pull the mail from the mail server, right. So you have to send a request to the server. Are you want to send a mail or you want to see what is the mails uh, you got it? So two type of communication, right? So two requests. So that's why it is two protocols, one for sending, one other for retrieving or receiving. Okay, SMTP common, but to retrieve a mail, Again, two types. One is POP3 and IMAP version 4. Okay, so different scenarios based on server and client requirement. Either use POP3 or IMAP type. 
okay uh, when outlook is there then i will explain difference between prop3 and imap but we use these protocols got it yes sir Very good. dhcp protocol dynamic host configuration protocol it assign an ip address to the clients automatically so guys i am getting an ip address so i'll go to yeah. we have this one right so now follow ip config slash all so this is my wi-fi adapter Okay, I got an IP address from this particular DHCP server. From this particular DHCP server. Okay, I am a DHCP client and there is a DHCP server. This DHCP server assigned an IP address to my client's PC. And here we have a PC and I assign an IP address static ip address i assigned manually okay if i have a dhcp server here so i no need to assign ip address uh, individually okay so so see i am kept a one server here i want to connect a server So I want to configure this server as a DHCP server. First of all, I have to configure um, I want to configure some IP address. Um, yeah, I use uh, DHCP uh, 67. Just for fun, I use. So I am configuring DHCP service here. Start IP is 100. Service on. I don't know which one is works. <laughs> okay, it is not showing clearly. Service on or off. Service is on. Okay, this is my server IP address, and I'm telling this is the an IP address. You have to give it to the client pieces. Okay, so this IP address is not changing. So if you check what is my IP address, IP config slash all. So IP address is same IP address. No DHCP server. Why? Because I configured manually. I want to get an IP address from DHCP server. So this is DHCP server. Uh, can you check this IP address? So I got an IP address from this server. Can you see DHCP server? So initially I don't have a DHCP server. I configured manually. Now I have a DHCP server. So I am getting IP address from this particular DHCP server. Guys, in our home, we don't have a DHCP server. But how we are mobile phones, laptops are getting an IP address? from your Wi-Fi router. Your Wi-Fi router is act like a DHCP server. Wi-Fi router is act like a DHCP server. OK. Dynamic host configuration protocol. Even my PC, I am getting an IP address from DHCP server. 
So I'm connected to the network through Wi-Fi network. To, so then my Wi-Fi router is my router is giving act as a DHCP server and I got an IP address. DHCP enabled S means I'm a DHCP client. I got an IP address from DHCP server. Understand guys, what is DHCP? Yes, sir. yes. Next is DNS. What is a DNS? DNS gives IP address of a domain or a host to the client. I open www.w3schools.com. I didn't type an IP address of it. Just I type www.w3schools.com. In my Gmail, mail dot google.com here docs dot google.com so how, suppose i have to reach these, these servers by ip address only remember guys all communications by ip address only you cannot communicate with a mac address or a names but you don't know the names Yeah, uh, separately I will tell, I, otherwise I will forward pop three and I map, okay? Because it's a story is there, that's why. Okay. All communication by IP address. To communicate, google.com, facebook.com, youtube.com, compulsory, we know their IP address. Small question, guys, simple it is. You want to talk to your friend. Okay, you want to call to your friend or maybe your father, mother, right? They have their mobile phones. They have their mobile phones. They have a mobile phone with the phone number. Okay. Phone numbers are there. And you want to talk to them means you have to call to them. You want to call means you should know this phone number, right? You should know these phone numbers. In your mobile, you cannot remember their phone numbers always, right? There are so many phone numbers. You cannot remember their phone numbers. What you will do? Check the contacts. Very good. We have to do save in the contact list. You make a contact list for name and phone number name and phone number father phone number mom phone number what is your aman phone number okay ananya phone number okay so like that uh, lavanya phone number okay vikramaditya and phone number so we have a contact list and what you do when you want to call we select a name i want to call to vikramaditya so i open vikramaditya and dial but originally, call not goes with a name. In the world, how many Vikramadichas are there? How many Amans are there? For every batch, I will get Aman name. Every batch, compulsory. Okay? So, <laughs> Aman, Amit, these are become common names. Okay? So, sometimes I will get a doubt. Even last batch person has joined in this batch. Okay? So, what happened? Original call goes with the phone number only. Not with the name. Right? So originally call goes with a number and number go to the particular person. The same way in our DNS, there is a DNS server. DNS servers maintain the records, means name of the domain or a name of the host and their IP address. Name and IP address. Guys, there is a big story is there. This simply I am telling name and IP address. Google.com means www.google.com. Mail.google.com. Meet.google.com. DOCS.google.com. Classroom.google.com. Okay, www.facebook.com. www.youtube.com. Studio.youtube.com. These are all names. FQD and so on. Each server, they are all nothing but a separate, separate servers. Each server having an IP address. So our PC send a request to the DNS server. 
this dns server take your uh, dns request name and ip address and verify in the records or whatever it will do we don't mind about it very big architecture is there we send a request i want an ip address of this butler um web um, i uh, server ip address we send a request and it will return what is it will return ip address this is an ip address i have open learn.microsoft.com so request go to dns server try to get a ip address once you got an ip address it give ip address to the client pc the client pc send a request to the dn uh, to the our original website server with an ip address okay so initially we don't have an ip address now we got an ip address okay guys what is dns server will do you dns server so whenever a client request a ip address of a butler host or a domain it returns an ip address of that butler host or a domain that is a dns sir yeah sir. tell me that. yeah sir so suppose if we just uh, enter the ip address can we still access the uh, the particular website like instead of just writing a domain yeah we can access we can access how how to just you can write a search for it good question so this is a google.com ip address as per this thing see i said trace rt or a ping command when i use a ping command also okay first i got an ip address with ip address only i am communicating okay so we know the ip address the so first thing is if you know the ip address like you have a phone number so no need to follow the contact list right so i am getting https colon slash slash and the ip address have you are getting some error set authentication validity so we use https http we have we got google.com so again it will convert later https okay that https is not uh, accepting from our pc okay maybe we got a doubt so what is the ip address of this w3schools.com in w3schools.com so got some ip address so this is wrong ip address no no not a wrong ip address correct only maybe we'll try with the uh, yeah, same why our http is not working page not found then it is showing page not found maybe it is some other uh, uh, things are there that's why it is not showing so generally hmm. it's not coming but generally uh, some they, they they follow some security rules that uh, outside ip address is different original ip address can be different okay so still we can able to access with a an ip address okay so if you know the ip address then you can access this is giving me a big problem why mouse integration is not working but it's trying to crashing my guys are you able to listen yes sir why? yes it yes. is yes sir yes sir okay leave that to me see 
so now or today it got some momentum so mindset upset is there okay ntp server network time protocol i am getting this time see can you see this time this time i am getting from ntp server okay how i know so uh, uh, just right click on this one it's just date and time it shows it synchronize your clock with the time dot windows dot com as per my time zone i am getting this time from this server okay what server it is time server which protocol ntp protocol network time protocol okay next one is kerberos kerberos and ldap authentication protocols you log into the server okay you log into a remote machine you log into your email account you you do logins right so we are accessing something from it right so when you do that once there is an authentication process when you put your username and password first it should be authenticated so it depends upon different uh, servers and their organization use different type of authentication protocols these two are most common mainly in a microsoft act 2 directory authentication they use a protocol called kerberos ldap is a most open protocol used by so many other organizations okay snmp protocol simple network management protocol used for managing networks monitoring checking system statuses gathering system information means the infrastructure management monitoring the infrastructure routers switches servers um, desktops to monitor it to gather such information we use snmp protocol okay not only these protocol guys regular based there are different protocols and you know if you see 8080 port number basically tomcat use 8080 port number but it is not reserved port number guys these are reserved port number we should not use it for other services compulsory these protocols for a specific service port numbers for specific services some are not reserved like this 8080 port number but when if anybody ask what is a port number for tomcat what is a port number for http 80 https 443 tomcat is a web server it's a kind of web server come application server it used by default 8080 port number it can be changeable but by default if tomcat use 8080 port number mysql server you want to connect a mysql servers remotely 3306 you want to connect a oracle remote oracle database server through network 1521 so there's default port numbers or some are by default port numbers some are we can able to change it okay so these are about a uh, protocols and their port numbers guys okay know about each and every protocol at least to least some protocols are we should know it okay next time when you want to become <coughs> want to go networking side server side or cloud side this information is very useful very important for not only this entry any entry in future you enter it is very useful okay so layers is seven layers application presentation session layer transport network data link layer and physical layer and i said about protocols and port number guys tomorrow i will explain about uh, each of the layer and an ip addresses so then we will finish main part of networking okay if i start at least ip address it will be finished but uh, now it is time passed do you understand guys at least the least we spend more yes, time sir. okay sir yes sir, Com yes, sir yes. compulsory Master. study daily guys compulsory study daily okay sir Okay, okay. So we'll meet you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Okay, good, bye, sir.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.